What's going on, buddy? My name is Chris, and we're back to Swirl. Let's play Spongebob Squarepants, the Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. He's flying around at the speed of Dutchman. All right, let's click the last letter. Find all the letters that find, find Spo spell Spongebob's name. We did that? And with that, Spongebob freaks the heck out. I don't know why. He's just gone crazy, man. Or I forgot to finish off my notes from last episode. Oops. Oops. Okay, I'm quickly doing that. Uh-huh. And bring us to this crazy level with Patrick running around. What is this? Oh, snap. Okay, so what this is, you have 90 seconds. And this, like, themed level here of things that are normally you can find around the level. But, oh, okay, I was gonna say there's the bus, but there isn't no bus, but there kind of is. So the reason why I'm not freaking out here and be like, oh no, I gotta be a quick! Oh, there's a wonderful special fire on too, that's cool. What a throwback to Battle for Bikiba! Oh wait, that came out later. So the reason why I'm not freaking out like at all, is when we're freaking Patrick running in midair there. These are the easiest puzzles ever. So easy. They're only three by three, like you would the fact if they didn't put the frame in it probably would have been much more difficult but because of the frame it makes like look at that that required no thinking at all <laughs> and they do this which is pretty much a uh let's make spongebob do all the things we could possibly make him do with our animation skills <laughs> That's what I get from that cutscene, because all his eyes go crazy, his all his arms and legs, all his body parts just move around in ways that make me just think, yeah, they totally just did that to be like, yeah, look at our animation skills! Or they just had no idea what to do with this victory dance. And then it puts us at this, use the rod to turn and place to find treasure. Which I was very confused when I saw this, I was like, wait, what? What is this about? And yeah, you, you walk by jumping on the stick? I, I, I don't know. So, yes, if you press B to use the vending rod, you'll see little circles appearing from it. Also, my control stick would start vibrating if it was close enough. So, oh, oh, my, my control stick, you might be able to hear that. Listen to that. You got, I don't know if you guys hear that or not, but... I believe, yeah, it's right here. Okay, so all we gotta do is go to the treasure chest and... You found one of the Dutchman's treasures! What could it possibly be? <gasps> Look at all the gold! It's wonderful! It's wonderful! It's beautiful! It's a sock. <laughs> I really did laugh pretty hard the first time I saw that. That is pretty great. I love it. It just it's just a sock. I I don't know, you guys. It's a sock. Someone had to pick it up with a stick. Probably use the rod to do that. Cause to be honest, it's pretty disgusting. <gasps> uh oh. I've asked you, little varmint. The time has come for you to join my ghostly crew. No use fighting it. Your fate's been decided. Now look Ooh, here it's the stick. what I got for you. That's right. Watch the little... Look at his eyes. <laughs> oh no, Gary, you gotta save him. Where are you, boy? Gary! Why did you take Gary, Mr. Dutchman? Take him? Why? You're just hypnotizing him. Why? Why? No one makes my best friends into pirates. And I mean no one. Well... Hope they never discover the pirate bee then. Ben and that jokes. So then I have to come up here, Gary's gone. Rip in peace, Gary. Rip in peace. I can't hit that again. What the heck? Can I only hit it once per loading screen or something? I don't know. So yeah, now with that, Gary's gone forever. Poor Gare Bear. Let's go back outside. See what's changed in the world. <laughs> so that's kind of another complaint in this game too with how empty it is they do a really good job at removing the only things you can interact with well the only characters you can interact with I guess uh, well Squidward's outside now here's that Squidward at his house and he's just creepily staring at me Hello, again too Bob. so nice of you to finally join us Squidward am I glad to see you you won't believe what just happened to me and Gary I don't have time for another one of your ridiculous tales. Mr. Krabs wants us to get to the Krusty Krab right away so he can tell us some important news. Ooh. Important news? Maybe Mr. Krabs is going to announce the employee of the month. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Beats me. You just keep chattering away and I'll see you there when you're done. 
So that's how it is. Trying to hear the news before me, eh? Well, let's see who can get to the Krusty Krab first. Ah, uh, sure. Whatever. Let's race scooter to the Krusty Krab. Oh, you. Oh, I was gonna say that he walks weird in this show or in this game. Look, he walks with his inside legs and his outside legs. In the show, he walks with both his left legs and then both his right legs. So yeah, I, I like how Squidward is like, yeah, whatever, I don't care. And he really like this race is just that. It's pretty accurate because he just, he re literally just walks there and you could easily beat him. Like, look at that. <laughs> it's pretty great. I love it. Where's that last jellyfish? I thought I would see it my way over here but nope he's gone forever all right let's go inside the crusty crabs here the important news i don't even remember what this is oh what can it be i keep once again we see that more legs doesn't mean more speed and once again we see that more holes in your head means less stays inside of it oh snap right, you two stop your jabbering I've got some difficult news to tell you. Business has been very slow lately, so I'm gonna shut down the Krusty Krab until it picks up again. How does that make sense? Shut down the Krusty Krab. I think I'm gonna faint. You boys can hang around here or go home, but I can't pay you one way or the other. Sorry. Well, isn't that just great? I'm going home to think of some ways to pay the bills. So long, SpongeBob. <laughs> All right, bye, Squidward. Cheer up, Mr. Krabs. I don't know how to do that, actually. Kind of just in there, standing around. So, there's no business going. I guess I'll shut down the business until it picks up again. I was like, what? How does that make sense? I'm gonna close down the business so it gets busy. I, I, I don't know. I really have no idea what kind of thought presses that could be. Hey, those aren't burning. Why do you think our business is so slow? No one seems interested in going out anymore. They think it's too much trouble to leave home. Amen. We can't move the Krusty Krab into their homes. SpongeBob, that's it. We'll do just that. Yeah. What is that? Oh, you want to move the Krusty Krab? Should I get a hammer? <laughs> I mean that. I'm going downtown to set things up. You take this bus ticket and meet me there as soon as you can. <gasps> ah, it's a movie ticket, bus ticket. Actually, I guess it doesn't look a dang thing like a movie ticket. Yeah, the downtown bus ticket! Yay! I was hoping more doubloons would spawn there. These Krusty Krab burgers aren't burning. The other ones did. I guess he's just a better cook than me. I thought SpongeBob was the Krabby Patty cook, but apparently not. Apparently not. Right, let's go outside. Let's see if we can find this lot of jellyfish. Maybe I should even cut till I do that. Because I have no idea how long that's going to take, to be honest. Not a clue! Not a clue! Loading, 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 lo loading. There's like a few spots on the screen where no bubbles ever go, and it's really weird. I don't know if you guys noticed that. I'm just noticing for the first time myself. Oh, I noticed that a few cutscenes ago, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, I keep seeing that freaking top of the 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 thing there, the, the lamp post. I keep thinking that's a jellyfish, but nope. No, truck test up. No, no, truck test up, test up. No, truck test up. No, no, truck test up, test up. Alright, let's go back to the fishing gear. So I'm really curious where the heck this last jellyfish can be. Does anybody know? So look at all these bus stops here. What? Wow, tart. Huh, interesting. I doesn't tell you what that one is, but you could see the name of all the levels in the main menu. And well, that is one of those levels. So, weird, but okay. Can you spot the last jellyfish before I? I don't know. Bam. Okay, just take a walk around here. We can't find in a few seconds here. We'll just uh, we'll move on for now, and then we'll come back to. This. Is it maybe in my house? I doubt it. I'm just trying to th I could have sworn I remember seeing one in my house. Actually, I'm like, no, it can't be. And you can see. Squidward in his garage sale there. Except it's a yard sale, so I don't want to call it a garage sale. Yeah, it's not up here. Huh! I wonder where that little dude could possibly be. Yeah, see this is what this this is what my issue was when I was trying to 
get on top of this house when I first started playing this game. I could not make it on top of the ear, but now it's really easy. Except for the fact I sometimes miss still. Oh, who lives on top of a pineapple? It's me! It's me! Hey, hey Squidward, Squidward, what's up? What's with all the stuff on your lawn? A squid has to pay his rent somehow, so I'm having a little yard sale to make a few extra sand dollars. Now leave me alone so I can read my book. What you reading? It's called How to Defeat Evil Spirit, okay? Now please, <laughs> let me read. How to Defeat Evil Spirits? That's just what I need! Can I please borrow your book, Squidward? <sighs> you can borrow my book after I'm done with it, okay? So look through my yard sale or whatever, but stop asking about my book. No! Borrow Squidward's book. Well, um... Okay. Why did I do that? What's hey, this? Squidward, this big acorn sure is making a weird buzzing noise. Acorn? You mean that hive I got from my cousin <laughs> on the coast? No, I mean this big buzzing acorn in the glass case. I bet Sandy would really like this. Sandy would oh, like yeah. that, wouldn't she? I bet your little squirrel friend would really like that acorn. <laughs> you buy it for her. Name your price, yard merchant. I'll sell it to you for 200 sand dollars. <gasps> <laughs> I don't have that kind of money. You're saving your tip money. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money, man. What do you think, I'm a money man? I have zero sand dollars. So yeah, it's different from the doubloons. Look at that acorn. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It calls it an acorn. Can we, not, can we not break some of these boxes? I really need that book to save Gary. I just want to borrow it for a little while. But how will I ever get it away from Squidward? You I don't must know. sneak up on him while he's napping so he doesn't wake up. Oh. Okay, he goes to sleep. Yeah, you just gotta walk up and touch the floating book, the floating spinning book. I mean, it's underwater, so it does kind of get a pass. Oh, I pressed Y to get like a close-up view of him, and it didn't work out for me. <laughs> Where do I have to go from him? All right, what do we do it from here. Like how his nose vibrates when it, while he sleeps. It's it's pretty cute. I, I mean, uh, oh, I don't have a crush on Squidward. What? <laughs> To defeat evil spirits, Chapter Eight: The Flying Dutchman. Any poor soul who awakens the Dutchman must suffer his revenge for all eternity. Oh, that doesn't sound good. The only defense against the Dutchman's magical powers are his most personal treasures. These are items which he carried close to him while he was alive. Find all seven of the lost treasures in order to face down the Dutchman once and for all. We got this! That's it! All I have to do is find the seven lost treasures of the Dutchman to end this once and for all. Barnacles, I thought this would be a challenge. And then he starts reading again. What? What? The oh god, it's him! It's the Flying Dutchman! Everyone run! Oh, just Sandy. Freaking destroying giant boulders. I don't even, man. I don't even know. It's crazy. So crazy. What's up, Sandy? What's up, Sandy? Sandy! Boy, am I glad to see you! You won't believe what happened to me and Gary this morning. Let me guess. Curiosity got the best of you again. Yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> well, don't you fret, little varmint. This squirrel knows just the thing to cheer you up. A good old-fashioned karate match. Just step into my arena when you're good and ready. Okay, let's go. Let's see what's going on at this path that apparently leads to the other side of the town where a treehouse is that we actually saw. So this is kind of, well, I'm not going to say it's going out of order because we're not going to be able to do Oh, well, never mind. This is not what I thought it was. Oh, snap, okay, Sandy. Okay, listen up, because I'm going to remind you how this all works. Bring We've it all. a short amount of time to bust up all this junk in your yard. The person who breaks the most stuff when the time runs out is the winner. Just I want to be a wiener. Are legal, if you have the guts. I'll teach you a few moves. You can press the action button to karate chop, and press the action button a couple of times to chain attacks together, press the action button in the air to do a kick. Got all that? Yeah! Ready, so, set, press B a lot is pretty much what she's telling me. So we gotta do this for an entire minute. <laughs> I like how it says, SpongeBob, foe. And yeah, that spin attack there is freaking a lifesaver without that. And it would make these really difficult. Because you have that though, it makes things pretty easy. Just aim and just shoot. Wow, I'm wearing my underwear apparently. Oh, never mind. Just the angle I saw. Looks like I'm wearing nothing but underwear. 
Bam, bam, bam. Destroy all the things! Okay, it, like that, that attack alone makes this thing kind of a joke. And yeah, they, you can't stun the enemy by, um... Oh, that was weird. Don't let me break that one thing. You can't stun the enemies by, uh, hitting them with Karate Chop, but it's honestly... It's, it's pretty easy. <laughs> wow, I, I remember being easy, but I don't remember being this easy. Normally it's pretty close. But I wasn't ever worried about losing. But at the same time, I was like, yeah, I could see this maybe giving me some issues on a bad day. 35 to 22. I'm gonna run around in circles. I don't think you're supposed to do that. I don't remember that happening. Whee! Your karate skill is mighty! I know. I know. So I thought it was supposed to lead to Sandy Street, oh, that's not where that led to at all. Led to a dead end, a DE. Look at the spots on the screen, no bones are going. I gotta admit, Spongebob, <sighs> that was some tussle. You did okay for a sea critter. Oh, you <laughs> You're a sea so critter. Bad. For a land critter. Land critter. <sighs> that plum took all the fire out of me. I'm going home for a nap. Why don't you drop on by my tree dome and pay a visit, okay? That was sure swell of Sandy to cheer me up. I wish I could do something special for her. I know. I'll give her a present. But what would Sandy like? Mm hmm. I mean, we already know we want to give her an acorn. And quote-unquote acorn. So I guess I was kind of supposed to do that first. But, uh, that's okay. Um. Yeah, like I said, whenever I, like, played this by myself, I ran into a whole bunch of, like, continuity errors like that, where I, like, tried to talk to a scooter book in the the beehive first and then talk to Sandy when I guess I should have done it the other way around like I did here. But at least I fixed it with the whole Patrick thing, right? Like I, I talked to Patrick before going to break his thing on the antenna. That's the very first time I did that. I did just try to record like the first episode and then I decided to restart it after I realized that I forgot to talk to Patrick <laughs> before that. If that made any sense. But um, yeah. Where's this? Okay, that leads to Jellyfish Fields. We wanna go downtown. Do, 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 do. So we're gonna go downtown and then we'll call an episode there. Should we change? Yeah, let's change gear. Yay! Even though we couldn't find that last jellyfish. Uh, I'll do that next time I'm here. I'm sure he's around here somewhere that I broke the game. 92%. Huh. Okay, that's the mystery bus stop. And I believe this is the downtown bus stop, right? Ten. The bench go downtown. So all you do, you don't even have an animation for a bus. It just fades out and fades in. It's really weird. I don't believe there's a cutscene here. Is there? I hope not. Do I do like a mini cliffhanger? Mini cliffhanger. So this is downtown oh, there's Bikini one. Dang it. Bottom. How will I ever find Mr. Krabs in such a huge place where the streets never end and the buildings just go on and on and on? And there's also thugs, apparently. SpongeBob over here! <laughs> That's awesome, I don't remember that. Well, I had no idea he was right across from the beginning here. Okay. So, when he says that, this level is actually pretty big. And it is pretty confusing. Like, I don't think it's that big. I think it's more or less just, it's a really confusing layout and everything looks the same. It's really hard to get lost, or it's really easy to get lost here. But, uh, anyways, we're gonna explore downtown in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if there's any games you want to recommend me playing, check out the top link in my description. It'll lead you to a video where you can leave comments telling me things to play. And the more common ones, I will look into playing. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Till next time, bye!